Hey guys, Penguins Recordings here, and today I'm going to be guiding you on how to install Need for Speed Most Wanted. This is the 2005 version of the game. We're going to be using Wine inside Play on Linux here. So the first thing you're going to need is Play on Linux 4.1.8 or newer. Here I have 4.2.1. Alright. This guide will work on Ubuntu 12.04. 12.10 and 13.04 and future versions of Ubuntu as long as you have uh, this uh, play on Linux and, and newer versions of play on Linux on there okay so I'm gonna be using this exe file this is not the standard need for speed installer no because the normal one does not work from what I've tried so instead I'm using this torrent file the link for this will be in the description down below so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to click install. Okay. Now we're going to be installing a non-listed program. Now for many of you, if you if you don't want to follow this entire video, you can use the Need for Speed Most Wanted patched version here. But I tried it and it doesn't work for my needs. So we're going to go install a non-listed program. All right. Click next. I'm going to install a program in a new virtual drive. Click Next. Now you can name this drive anything. I'm just going to name it an FSMW. Uh, how to. Alright. Because later on I'm going to delete this drive. I already have the game installed. So you can name the drive anything. I'm naming it this. Now we're going to do several things here. First we're going to tick Use Another Version of Wine because we want to use the latest. Second, we're going to configure Wine to run it in windowed mode initially. And then lastly, we're going to install some additional files needed to run the game. So we're going to click Next. Now I'm going to be using Wine 1.5.30 here. Now if you do not have this in your list here, the way to get it is to go to Tools and Manage Wine Versions. So the wine versions on the left are the ones that you can install and the wine versions on the right are the ones that you do have installed. So you select one on the left and then you click this button here and after you've installed it, it will appear on the right. Alright, so it's pretty straightforward to install different wine versions. So I'm going with 1.5.30 here. I'm going to click next. Give it a couple of seconds to set itself up. Sorry for anyone who doesn't like pirated content, but this is an old game and I cannot find it locally. It is not sold locally where I live. I cannot buy it online either. And Amazon is not available in my country, so I am left without any choice really. I can buy the 360 version, but I already have that. I can't exactly play that on the PC. Alright, so in this we're going to go to graphics. We're going to tick emulate a virtual desktop. Now I'm going to set this to 1600 by 900, but you can set the windowed mode to anything you want. This is just for while we're installing it, and later on while we will be uh, changing the resolution. Okay, click apply and click OK. So here is very important. Three things you're going to need to install. I will display them as text on screen later on. But first I scroll down. The first thing you will need is DirectX 9. Here it's labeled as D3DX9. All right. We're going to install the entire thing. Then we're going to scroll down. We are also going to look for VC Run 2005. Here it is. So the second thing is VC Run 2005. And the last is VB Run 6. This is needed later on for the, uh, the resolution patcher. So three things in total. VC Run 2005, VB Run 6, and DirectX 9 here. Alright. So now that we have these three things selected, we click Next. Let it install these things into Wine. It does it automatically for you. That's why it's nice to use Play on Linux. It makes it easy. It's, e it's even easier if you're using Co Code Weaver's crossover, but many people can't afford that. Okay, so now is the time that we are going to browse to the exe file right here. So I'm going to click Browse, and I'm going to go to Desktop. 
Now this exe file is wherever you have downloaded it to. All right, I have moved it to desktop to make it easy for me to select it here. Selected it and I click open. Okay, it detects it and I click next. So it will start it up in windowed mode. Choice of two languages, this is the pirated version. But it's a good version because it has the latest patch and it has a resolution fixer. So I'm going to click English. I'm going to click next. And I'm going to click next again. Now it's up to you if you want to unlock everything. Let's say you want to start the game from scratch. So you just simply untick that. But if you want to mess around with the game, you've already finished it and you just want to play with your friends on LAN, then you can tick that. I'm just going to tick it for the time being. Leave it as is. Click next. No need to change this. Just click install. So this can take some time. I will skip ahead to after this is done. Alright, so the installer is almost done here. Just a couple more seconds and it will be done. Okay, so the installation is done. We click finish. Alright, let's do, let it do its thing. So now is the part where we make the shortcuts so we can actually run the game. So the first one we're going to want to do for sure is speed.exe. This is the game itself. So you click next. Now you can rename this. I'm just going to name it NFSMW How To. You can name it anything you want. It's okay. Now, the second thing would normally be this, which is the Need for Speed uh, Most Wanted Resolution Changer, but this does not work in Wine. So I'm going to show you another way to make your resolution change, but it's, it's going to be a bit long-winded. For now, I don't want to make another shortcut, and we click Next. So we have the game installed, and before we try and change the resolution to anything, let's actually see if it runs or not. So I'm selecting it here, how to, this is the one we just installed, and I click run. I should record the audio as well. Okay. So as you can see, it runs. The only problem that we have is that it runs in a windowed mode, and it's really small at that. Okay, I'm just going with this guy. It runs, which is nice, but it's not what we want. We want it to be able to run in a larger window. But since this is an old game, if you were to go into Options, and then Video, you'd notice that the resolution selections are limited. The highest it can go is this, because this is an old game. So we go back. Now one thing you'll notice is every time you try to change the resolution in-game is that it's going to crash like this. This is normal, don't worry. It only crashes when you try to change the resolution in-game. So now I'm going to try and teach you how to change the resolution using this patcher right here. This universal window, universal widescreen patcher. So the link for this will be in the description down below as well. So it's two things you want to download, the Need for Speed down the Need for Speed Installer and the Universal Widescreen Patcher. So I have these two files here and I need to bring them close, uh, I need to put them in the same wine prefix as the game I've just installed. So here's this Need for Speed I've just installed. I right click it and I go open the applications directory. Okay, so we're at the place where the game has been installed. Now you can put it anywhere in here. These two files, you can put them anywhere in here. I prefer to put it one step up above, up here, because it's cleaner and I can see it. I select both. I drag them out here. Well, that's strange. I do not have the right permissions. Okay, let's just try taking out the uni. All right, the uni exe works. It's just the patches fold. That's bad. Alright, I'm going to grab the... I have another version of it. I'm just going to grab it from here instead. Okay, so basically you're going to need two files. Patches.ini and uniws.exe. I'm going to copy these. And I'm going to paste them into the Need for Speed Most Wanted Wine Prefix. Yes, I want to replace. Don't worry, the link below will be a working version of it. So I have these two files here, 
Now I need to make a shortcut inside Play on Linux. So I'm going to select Need for Speed How To. I'm going to go Configure. Make a new shortcut from this virtual drive. Immediately it already detects uniws.exe, which is great. We can close this now. We're going to select this. We're going to click Next. And I'm going to name this NFSMW How To. You can name it anything you want, like I've said before, but I'm naming it this. So I click Next, and it's done. All right. Now close this. So we have the patcher here working. But before you can run this patcher, it has a requirement. All right, we're going to be using Need for Speed Underground 2. The presets for this will be Underground 2. But to make this work, it will only work with Speed2.exe. So we close this. We're not going to patch it just yet. We're instead going to change how this game works. First, we're going to run this. Now, I believe it's already in 640 by 480, but we just make sure anyway. So under options, video, we have to change it to 640 by 480. It has to be this. All right. So now that we've done that, we click accept. It crashes. That's acceptable. We expect that. Okay. The second thing we have to do is we have to go open the applications directory and we have to rename this speed2. This is temporary. This is just for the patcher to realize what we're doing. So we've done two things. We've changed it to 640 by 480 in resolution and we've changed the exe's name. All right. Now we can run the UniWS. This is the how to version. Click run. Okay, we are going to go for game Need for Speed Underground 2. I know that's not this game. That's just the preset we're going to be using. Click C, Program Files, Need for Speed Most Wanted is the game we've installed. And okay, it's detected it. It's already put this here. We're going to change this to 1600 by 900. You can change this to whatever you want. What is your screen width? What is your screen height? You change it to that. I'm changing it to the wine window size that I have set, which is 1600 by 900. I'm going to click patch. Game successfully patched. Okay, so that's done. We close this. Now, if you were to try to run the game straight off, it is going to give you an error saying, oh, it crashed. That's because we have to rename this exe here back into just speed. Okay, we remove the two, hit enter. Okay, that's done. We can close that. Now, if you were to click this and click run, there you go. The game is now running in 1600 by 900. Click back. Just to confirm with you guys that under options, video presets will still say 640 by 480 but that's not the case the game is being stretched as you can see the graphics in the background are nice and crisp for the resolution so I hope this video has helped you guys get the game up and running I'm sorry it's not the CD or DVD versions I have tried those the reason why we have to use the torrent version is because the installer on the normal CD and DVD version do not work in wine I've tried and they do not work but the torrent one works so in the description down below will be further information and links to the downloads. I hope this video helped you guys out and thanks for watching.